Hello everyone, my name is Gord Tessman. I'm gonna walk you through how we build our shocks for our XB8. Um, first off, we uh, coat the O-rings liberally with uh, RC Sweat. What this does is keeps the oil from penetrating the O-ring and making it swell and expand and possibly leak. After that, we assemble the bottom cap, but we don't turn the, the end on tight. Just put it loose and then put a drop of oil, whatever oil you're going to be using in your shock at the time. Put a few drops in, allow it to go through the hole, put a little bit on the shock shaft just to make sure that it's really going to go in there easily without damaging the O-rings. And as I put it in, I wiggle it a little bit so it just falls right through. And that's when I tighten up the bottom. This keeps the O-rings from getting damaged and creating a good seal really smooth that way. Then I'll fill up the shock. I've got one filled here to show you. And I've, it's been here for quite a while, so the air is completely out of the oil. So I'm gonna take my shock cap without the bleeder screw in it, but the bladder is in the cap. I'm gonna put it on the shock, and I'm gonna just, just before it starts to ooze out of that little hole, right away almost, but just before it gets onto the rubber seal, I'm going to push up with my pinky and you can see the oil coming. I don't know if you can see it, but it's, the oil is coming out of the shock now. The shaft is, dis, is displacing that oil. And when it gets to the very top, that's when I'm going to tighten up the shock cap, keeping pressure on the bottom of the cap. Put it pretty tight, but I don't use a tool for this. I just, uh, I just do it finger tight. I don't think it's necessary to use a big wrench on it or anything. So after it's tight, I'm going to push up with my pinky on the top on the shaft to drive it to the very top. Then I'm going to put the bleeder screw in. And I'm basically sealing up the top of the cap, sealing a certain amount of air in there. Now, as you can see, there's no real rebound because it's the amount of air in there is very small. But when I pull it down, you can see it draws back up some. So very little rebound, but it does draw up. So this setup kind of gives the car a very mellow, easy to drive feel. But if I want the car to more, be more reactive and more responsive, what I'll do is I'll take the screw out, draw the shaft down, in essence, creating a bigger, I'm drawing the bladder, you can't see it, but inside the bladder is being drawn down and I'm creating a bigger air pocket. Then when I put the screw in, I can actually create more rebound this way without changing the oil. Now you can see the rebound is a little bit better and the draw up is a little bit less. I'll pump it, it doesn't really change anything because there's actually no air in the oil. The air pocket is only in the cap. I'm gonna do this even more so. I'm gonna draw it way down to create even a bigger air pocket. This way, I can adjust the air volume in that cap without, see now there's even more rebound on its own. So this will be a little bit more lively setup, a little bit more reactive, and very little drawback up because that air pocket is slightly larger than it was when I held it up and it didn't draw down at all. So that's how we build our shocks. Um, give it a try and thanks for watching.